Hi everybody, Bob from Bobco Astro here. I want to talk to you today about my Astro DSLR setup, what I use most of the time nowadays for imaging the night sky. I haven't quite gone to the dedicated Astro camera yet, that's a financial leap a bit too far for me at the moment, um, but I've upgraded quite a lot on my telescope DSLR setup. So I want to talk about that today and go through with you some of the things that I've done and go into a bit of detail about the rig itself. So let's go and have a look. So let's see what we're looking at. We've got the William Optics GT81 Mark IV telescope fitted with the 360 degree rotator and the flat 6A Mark III 0.8 times reducer and flattener. On the end of that, we've got a standard T connector to our Canon 600D. At the front of the telescope, we've got a Astro Essentials four inch dew shield. And underneath that, and on the guide scope, we've got W and W Astro dew heaters. For guiding, we're looking at the William Optics UniGuide 32-120mm scope, the ZWO ASI 120mms uh, guide camera, and just because I, I wanted to put it somewhere, uh, on the back of that we've got the temperature gauge that uh, comes off the focuser on the GT81. This all sits on a William Optics Losmandy Dovetail 400mm plate and to accommodate the electricals uh, the William Optics scope sits on top of two and a half inch Astrodymium riser blocks and they're available from FLO. Everything's controlled here by a Melee Quieter 2 Mini PC running Windows 11. And that sits on top of the uh, Pegasus Astro Powerbox Advance. Moving around to the other side, you can see the Powerbox Advance uh, outputs. There are four 12 volt 5.5 by 2.1 millimeter outlets, two outlets for the dew heater controls here, and on the end here is our 12 volt input for the device. The power box advance also uh, doubles up as a USB hub, and here we've got all the USB ports for that and at the front here we have a adjustable voltage output which i've set to my dslr voltage and that uh, controls the power to the dslr using three outputs on the quieter 2 mini pc firstly we have the USB output to the Powerbox Advance. So all of our connected accessories running through the hub of the Powerbox Advance come into this single USB. Power input to the mini PC controlled by the Powerbox Advance. And here we've got an Ethernet output up to a TP-Link AC750 dual band Wi-Fi travel router which is bolted onto the carry handle of the telescope. That gives me two channels 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi so that the whole system can be controlled from indoors. We have the ZWO EAF focus motor again all controlled 
via the Powerbox Advanced Hub by the Melee Quieter 2 PC. One other thing the uh, Powerbox Advance uh, comes with is a environmental sensor so to test the external temperature and humidity and that can all be controlled within uh, Nina under the uh, weather accessory tab. One thing I have had problems with is uh, connections of the camera. Now I'm using the Canon 600D here and I control everything in Nina. I also use a Nikon D500 and I use that one more for galaxies, it's not astro modified. And I found that for some reason in Windows 11, uh, which I'm using on my Melee here, uh, and also I use um, on my Mac as well, I found that uh, the Nikon will not connect, I don't know why. So I've had to come up with another solution so I can still use the Nikon. Uh, and what I do when I'm using the Nikon, I control it all from a Windows 10 PC, but I can't do that um, with this system remotely. So I have to connect via cable when I'm using my uh, Nikon D500 at the moment. So to accommodate that, on the back here, uh, we've got an Atolla powered USB hub so what I end up doing is disconnecting the Quieter 2 PC from the uh, Pegasus Astro hub and connecting the Pegasus Astro hub um, directly into the USB hub here and then I cable that down to my Windows 10 PC. Uh, so that's a powered hub, so that needs power and that power comes from the Powerbox Advance or one of the outputs on the Powerbox Advance and also on this one uh, when I'm using the Nikon I have a separate power supply to that which again comes initially from the Powerbox Advance but then you step down from 12 volts to 8 volts here and then outputs to the camera I have to say I do love the camera rotator on the GT81 Mark IV. You can get really, really accurate rotation, uh, very clearly marked. You can lock it up in any position you need and uh, that really helps with framing. Brilliant, brilliant bit of kit. Well done William Optics, very, very nice. And I think that's about it. So there it is, that's my Astro DSLR setup that I'm using at the moment. If you like what I'm doing, hit that like button, hit that subscribe. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay safe and clear skies.